Glory to God. You may please be seated. That is a full dose. Full, full overdose of prayers from both watchmen. I'm so grateful for your lives. Thank you so much. I have one prayer point, but I want to teach briefly 10 to 15 minutes. That's what I usually say. But um, I truly pray that it stays around that. Um, there was a conversation Prophetess Tilly and myself were having, and I was saying to her that my, the next time that I'm privileged to lead prayer, I'm going to be talking about the eagle. If you notice how God has been dealing with her, us, it hasn't been average. The revelation, the prayer points, our faith, testimonies, they are not normal. They are not usual. They're very unusual, very uncommon. And the Lord began to show me how he's raising eagle Christians. Eagle Christians. So I want to share a couple of attributes about the eagle to you. And then we're going to pray Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. The Lord spoke to me. He said, tell my people, come up. Come up. Come up. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, either. That's, that's my prayer point, but let me give it um, substance. Let me give it content and let me give it a, a, a place to, to um, paint it on. Heavenly Father, help me as you always do. I can do nothing without you. And when I teach and preach on the eagle, truly make us eagles, eagle Christians in the name of Jesus. If you look in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, where it says that, um, <laughs> I know the scripture, but it just left my head. Can you help me put... Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings. The only thing I want to bring out there is wings. Every bird has a wing. But not every bird can soar. Not every bird can fly. Turkey is big. It has a big wing, but it doesn't fly. Ostrich has wings, but they don't fly. There are so many chicken. It's a bird, but it does not fly. Ducks, they don't fly. But the Bible says of the eagle that it has the ability to mount up. And then the peculiarity about the eagle is that the eagle doesn't fly. The eagle doesn't use its own strength. If there's a bird that has the greatest grace on earth, is the eagle. When every other bird flies like this with their wings, the eagle soars and watches the wind and allows the wind to carry it so that it can fly into the eye of the, of the sun. Number two, eagles are the most monogamous birds that you can ever find. In other words, eagles are consecrated only to one partner for life. The Bible said of Ephraim, it said Ephraim's strength has been defrauded and wasted because of sleeping around, but not an eagle. So if you're going to speak of an eagle, you speak of an eagle. When you speak of an eagle Christian, you're speaking of someone who is so consecrated to God, idols don't cross your mind. There's nothing that can happen in your life that can compare to God or take your time or take your focus away from God. Eagle is very monogamous. Number three, 
Eagles mature in three years. In six months, most birds are ready to be hatched. They're ready to be full, full grown. Whether they're turkeys, whether they're chicken, whether all manners of birds, in six months, most of them are ready. They've reached their maturity in six months. Guess what? In that six months, they're ready to be eaten. But an eagle does not reach maturity until three years. And an eagle is one of the most patient birds on earth. It doesn't struggle to grow. It doesn't struggle to go and look for food. It's a very patient bird. It's not impatient. The eagle takes time to build strength in those three years. Number four, the eagle lives between 50 and 70 years, more than most human beings. In Nigeria, the year, I mean, expectation that they have of human beings to live in Nigeria is 52 years. An eagle, because of the choices they make, they live better, they live stronger. An eagle, when it comes to a time that is supposed to die, is weak, is old, it has the capacity to rebirth and regenerate and live for more years till it's about 70. An eagle can carry 20 to 50 times his body weight. I need you to listen to me carefully because when I say let's pray one prayer and say, Lord, make me an eagle Christian, all these characteristics personify you. Eagle can carry an animal that is 20 times its own body weight. So it's not afraid of anybody. It's not afraid of a lion. It's not afraid of other birds. It will pick them up like paper. (laughs) This one is a, a very funny one, but you can Google it. An eagle saw a lion with cubs and it went back and gathered the strength, stretched out all of his wing, and and charged at the lion and took his cub. And the lion cowered. It's on Google. That's what an eagle can do. You don't know your strength. You don't know your ability. You hear the roar of a lion, and you go and pretend like you're a chicken somewhere, shaking. Eagle is the most, (laughs) so if a lion can take the cub of a lion, who can take what belongs to the eagle? Both animals, the eagle and the lion, they're my two favorites in the whole world. Because two of them, they stand in the presence of the Lord for billions of years. And they're still there as I'm talking to you right now. They are called the four beasts. The one has the face of an ox, the face of, face of a man, the face of a lion, and the face of an eagle. The eagle is perpetually carrier of God's presence. The eagle is the most consecrated animal alive in lifestyle. The eagle is very picky, very specific, very clean. There are some eagles, all they eat is fish. Some, all they eat is snake. The one who eats snakes, they don't cross over to eat fish. They are that consecrated that if this is my food, that is the only thing they will take. When you are an eagle Christian, you don't be a Christian on Sunday and something else on Tuesday. Eagle is very specific. They don't eat anything available. They would rather starve than eat anything. There are most people who have sold their destiny like Esau for food or to belong to a group or to be a happy hour. You don't even drink. But just to be one of the boys, you go and drink and you mess up. Because your body cannot take alcohol. You start throwing up and talking rubbish and you get fired. And then you go, shaka, taba, shaka, you are binding. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with the devil. It was all you, babe. 
They don't eat, they don't mix everything. They don't eat what's available. It's not everything you are offered you should take as an ego Christian. When you cut the eagle, his flesh is white. Talking about purity. The eagle doesn't make friends. It selects a mate or a partner. You can't befriend it. You have to be an ego Christian. You are, can't be everybody's friend. My God in Zion. The ego looks for the tallest tree to put his nest. Because it just doesn't go around with everybody. Everybody cannot be called to your destiny. Everybody cannot be your prayer partner. Everybody cannot be the custodian of your secrets. Everybody cannot be mommy, daddy. May you not be raised by your sibling. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God be a father to you. May you know God as a father. Call everybody, mommy, everybody this. Do you know what it means in the spirit? <laughs> Let me leave that. I think now on my list I have 14. An eagle does not fly, it soars. So when the Lord tells us in Revelation chapter 4 verse 1 to come out hither, he's calling eagle Christians. He's calling eagle Christians. Let me tell you a testimony of, of a truth. A farmer went deep into the forest at one time. And he saw a tree and was like, oh, let me just climb it and see what goes there. When he gets there, he found, um, he found eggs of an eagle. And the farmer took the eggs. The farmer took the eggs of the eagle back to his farm. And the, the um, farmer put a chicken who is brooding over its own eggs to sit on those eggs and give you warmth. When it was time to hatch, the, the chicken hatched all the eggs, both its own egg and the eagle's eggs. One day, not too far, they were walking. But an eagle does not walk. He can't walk. His feet were not created to walk. The chicken is flat-footed. He can walk. The eagle has hooks. He has hooks to grab. It's not for walking. So the eagles were slow and the chicken was cluttering and going and chattering and his own uh, ch chicklets were all boom, 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 following the mother. So there was a distance, there was a separation. In this season, there's got to be what separates you in the name of Jesus. We may have been brooded upon by the same chick, but we're not the same. Guess what happened? The eagle that had been looking for the eggs saw the two distinct, one are walking fast, some cannot walk. He recognized them and it screamed, it screeched. Ah! In one swoop, took its own and took them away. It is what the world considers a disadvantage that God uses to distinguish you. You are not flat-footed. You are not a chicken. You are not a clocker. You are not a talker. You are not to talk your life away. The chicken does nothing but talk. But the talking could not stop it from the eagle to come and take the children. When the Lord, eaglets, when the Lord said, come out hither, the way and the things you carry, they either make you light to flight or they make you burdened that you would have conditioned your mind 
to be a chicken even when you are an eagle. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. The eagle has only one enemy. The crow. Wicked, stubborn crow. It will stay on the neck of the, my God in Zion, I feel the presence of the Lord. It will stay on the neck of the eagle and continually peck at it, peck at it, peck at it, the spirit of Penina. Continually peck at it, peck at it and nag it like the devil. Continually peck at it and tell you your failures and tell you what you can do and what you cannot do. The eagle in its might could have gone boom and dropped the crown, but the eagle doesn't fight. The eagle goes vertical. It's the only bird that flies vertical. Every other bird flies horizontal. May you not be a horizontal Christian in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because when the eagle soars vertically, it gets to a point that the crowd loses oxygen and it falls off. The days of I bind you, the day of I'm running away from a witch, a sorcerer, a grand occult master, diabolic occultic powers, I had a bad dream, it's gone, I'm going up. I go up hither. I go up to where you cannot operate. I go to where you have no rank. I go to where you have no jurisdiction. I go up in the name of Jesus. The voice of the Lord is calling you tonight and say, come up higher in the name of Jesus. Come up higher. You need to leave that mess, that complaining, that argument, that thing. I'm sick. The Holy Spirit tell me to tell someone tonight that what has been a sickness in your body is a distraction. I healed you a long time ago. Come higher. Come up higher. Come up higher. Come up higher. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to come higher. I don't have the time to argue with you. I don't have the time to keep malice with you. I don't have the time to operate in your territory. I don't have time to hate you. My God is a God of love. My God in Zion. Do you know what takes you higher? The ability to pray for your enemies. The ability to love your enemies. The ability to hug your enemy. Pay their tuition. Do whatever they need for them because you cannot get me. <laughs> when you get this, you will never fight any human being. No human being will have the power to irritate you. Do you know why? If a witch curses me and I curse back, I've lost. I wasn't raised to curse. But a witch cannot love. A witch can curse. And the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13 that out of all of these, the greatest is hope, faith, and love. Faith, hope, and love. Love is the greatest. Love is the highest. When you curse me and I genuinely go on my knees and I bless you, you're dead. I'm not doing it so you can die, but I brought the weapon from the third heaven that you don't have. Let me explain that to you so you can get it. There was a time Saul was chasing, um, Saul was chasing David. And they sent word to Saul that we have garrisoned him. We've, we, we've surrounded him. We've cornered him. We definitely have him. But David slid out and he got to the synagogue. And prophet Samuel <laughs> was leading worship. Never mess with a prophet that has God's attention. David entered during worship. And David, being a worshiper, he joined them. And King Saul and his army, they came in. Samuel didn't stop service to acknowledge him. It's like if whoever you are looking for, look. But in the presence of the Lord, you can't be found. 
In the presence of the Lord, you are in glory. In the presence of the Lord, you are covered. In the presence of the Lord, you are sheltered. In the presence of the Lord, you have the greatest security. David did not need to even use his military skills. He ran into worship, into the secret place of the Most High. They searched. They couldn't find him. And they left in frustration. When you take your enemies out of their realm, out of their jurisdiction, out of their power, you mess them up. That's why Jesus says, bless those who revile you. Bless those who hate you. Bless those who persecute you. You know one thing God has done for me? There's nobody I cannot genuinely pray for with the love of God and by the spirit of God. There's nobody. And I know you. I know what you are doing. I know what you, are, you have done. But it didn't work. Because I'm a third heaven warrior. I don't fight on the first heaven. I don't fight from the second heaven. I fight from where you have no access to. My God in Zion. You need to come up. You need to come up. All this flesh that's distracting the church. All this competition. All this jealousy. All this envy. All this gossip. All this Silly things that make you a chicken when you are an eagle. You need to soar vertical. You need to go into the throne room. You need to go before the Lord that, that sits upon the rainbow circle throne. You need to be in the presence of great Jehovah. Who can pursue you there? That's your greatest jurisdiction. Where no enemy can fly to. Rise up. Come up. Come up. God is not teaching us about his image, about his anatomy, and about his power for me to be using my entire time. Binding and loosing. Did you not hear how people prayed tonight? Did you not hear confession? If you take that confession and you confess it every single day, in six months, you will be unrecognizable by yourself. We've wasted too much time on generational curses. Wasted too much time. Oh no, I saw that cat. I saw this. I saw that. Somebody said, I don't care who you are. I need you in my life. Which? I need you, Sosra. I need you, Grand Occult Master. I need you, Backstabber. I need you. I don't operate on your level. I've been raised to a God who reigns on the righteous and the unrighteous. A God who loves the enemy. When, when they asked the commander, the angel of the Lord that came to see Joshua, Joshua asked the commander, he said, are you for us or are you for our enemy? He said, I'm on nobody's side. I'm too big for that. Come up higher. You are too big to be having a conversation with the enemy. You are too big to be running away from something. You are too big to be bound. God put you in your husband's life and you are his worst enemy. God put you in your wife's life and you are a tyrant and a bully. Come up. Help me tell, look for four people. Help me tell them, come up. Help me tell them, say it's not me telling you, it's God calling you. Come up higher. Come up higher. Come up higher. It's time to soar. It's time to soar. It's time for elevation. It's time to be lifted. Come up. See there. So we want to pray tonight. And say, Lord, make me an eagle Christian. In the name of Jesus. Make me a consecrated Christian. Let me not be ordinary. Let me not be average. Let me not roam around let me not even in church let me not hang out with everybody it's not everybody that has your goodness at heart lord help me to be an eagle christian help me in the name of the lord jesus christ help me help me help me help me whatever you are going through tonight ask the lord to raise the altitude that's what the eagle does. Raise the altitude. Go up higher. I'm going higher. I'm going higher. I don't have time to talk back to you. 
I don't have time to defend myself. I don't have time to defend and say what you have said about me is a lie. I'm going higher. Raise the altitude. Raise the altitude. Get into the throne room. Get into the presence of the Lord. Go above principalities and powers. Go above where witches and wizards cannot go. There is a place in the presence of the Lord. There is a place in the secret place. There is a place in the abode of God. The evil powers cannot go. And that takes you higher. You've got to be one that's desperate tonight. And say, Lord, take me higher. Take me above the enemy. Take me above the weapons of this world. Take me above the arsenals of my enemy. Take me into the realm of love. Take me into the realm of your presence. Take me into the realm of God. And pour out your love over my life. Let me genuinely tonight walk out with the love of God that was shed abroad in my life. That I can pray for my enemies. I can bless my enemies. It's the only realm I have where they cannot operate. You want the enemy to stop following you? You want to stop being molested and raped in their sleep? Go higher. Go higher. There's a place the enemy cannot go. There is a place the enemy cannot reach. They have wings. They cannot fly. You can soar. You were created to soar. You were created to go vertical. Come up hither. It is the voice of the Lord that commands you to now. The voice of many waters. The voice like thunder. The voice of the Lord. When he comes into the temple, everybody shouts glory. The voice of the Lord that shatters the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord that destroys satanic control. He says, come up higher. Come up higher. Familiar spirits, divination, deception. They will be fr I may not have come from a great family, but when I die, everybody connected to my family shall be great. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Before I die, everybody connected to me shall be at my altitude. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Raise the altitude. Somebody said this about you. Walk up to them on Sunday. Say God bless you sis. And Je it will take you a while. It's taken me years. And God had to make me spend time. On learning about David. Because he knew who I was. He knew who I was. <laughs> I don't let my enemy go. I will follow you. After I said I've forgiven you. I will beg God. Until you are destroyed. But the Lord said. I can use you this far. But if you can operate like me. There's no limit. Do you know Saul's life was in the hand of David? I stood on that scripture for five years. Because I'm like, Lord, I can't do this. Look at what is done to me. Look at what is done to David. Look at what is done and done and done and done and done. And you gave him the opportunity. I would have killed him and come for a testimony. Huh? David said I will not touch the anointed of the Lord. Because God told me, he says sometimes... When you kill your Eli, on the day you come to Shiloh, there is no one to bless you. You have the opportunity, you have the strength, you have the justification. The Lord said, let it go. There was one I recently told my sister in tears. I said, I know this person. If they have an opportunity, they will kill me in in." 10 seconds and the Lord came to me and said leave it I said no father I know what to do <laughs> you've trained me my fingers are for war the Lord said leave it I meditated for the longest time 
I said, let me tell another human being. I told her and she said, well, you know your relationship with God. If God said, leave him, leave him. <laughs> do I want to be right? Or do I want God to be in that relationship? Tell yourself, say, I've got to raise the altitude. I've got to go higher. I've got to go higher. I must be where God is. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, tonight I pray that you will raise out of this church eagle Christians. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you will make me an eagle Christian. I pray my Lord and my God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The fearlessness, the boldness, the accuracy, the agility of the eagle. Let it be my personality and characteristics. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. My God, my God, my God. I lay before you tonight, I say, Lord, make me an eagle Christian. And then I will be able to mentor eagles in the name of Jesus. I will give birth to eagles. I will mentor and I will raise eagles for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, when we need to be a lion, we shall be. But Lord God Almighty, for the purpose of Christianity, I choose to be an eagle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. And I hear your command. I hear Hear your word from Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. And I go higher to now. Every weight that may hold me down, I shut it down. In the name of Jesus, every weight of any sin that does so easily beset me, I leave it behind tonight, Lord God Almighty. Because I must travel light. I must travel light. And I bless you. And I thank you. And I honor you for the privilege to be like you. We come up tonight. We raise the altitude. We will no longer operate on the level of man. The deep of our deep will call to your depth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I know it's the most difficult thing, but it's something you have done. I've seen you do it for me. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it so that we can soar over DMV and influence this place with righteousness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I thank you tonight. I bless you for the prayers that went ahead. For everyone that you have heard and listened to and you have answered. I thank you for this unusual season. I thank you for the month of Iya. I thank you Lord God Almighty. This month belongs to the tribe of Issachar. The tribe of the wise. The tribe of the ones who discern the times and the seasons of God. Lord, help us to discern our times and our season. Help us never again to leak the anointing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Instead of looking to a man for help, may we look to you in the name of Jesus. Help us like an eagle to keep our focus on the sun. S-O-N in the name of Jesus. May we always strive to soar higher towards the S-O-N in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, do what I cannot teach, preach, or pray according to the mighty power of your Holy Spirit. Teach every one of us at our level what we can understand. But Lord God Almighty, transform us, change us, into who you need us to be. In Jesus' most powerful name. Amen. Let's pray. Um, the, um, the grace. Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely.
God's mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom.